Good day, everyone. Hello, Almo. Moeni. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Professor Jimmy Volmink, Dean of the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences at Stellenbosch University. For those of you who don't yet know what a dean is, don't worry about it. I also hadn't heard that title used before I went to university. But if you really, really want to know, think of it this way. A dean is a bit like the principal of school. Yeah, I know that's not very cool, is it? Now, look, under normal circumstances, we would have moved heaven and earth to meet with all our prospective students in person. But thanks to COVID-19, circumstances are anything but normal at the moment. However, I, I hope that even though we are only able to meet with you virtually today, you will still be able to, to gain a bit of insight into who we are and to what we do as a faculty. The Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences at Stellenbosch was established more than 60 years ago. It has about 470 staff members and 4,500 students. Our faculty is mainly located on the Tigerberg campus, but one of our 14 departments is in fact based in, in Stellenbosch. Where we train is another matter altogether. Our students train at over a hundred facilities spread across a very wide geographical area. For the purposes of today, I'm going to spare you the details of uh, all the training facilities. But I, what I want to get to today is simply this. As Dean, I am extremely proud of what we are achieving at the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. And as a prospective student, I want you to know that if you decide to study with us, you will be making an extremely wise decision. Let me give you just three brief reasons for saying so. Number one, our faculty is a leading health sciences institution on the African continent. It is widely recognized throughout the world for the quality of its training, its excellent research, and the impact that it has on society. What I can guarantee you is that with a health sciences degree from Stellenbosch, you will be welcomed with open arms at any healthcare institution anywhere in the world in the future. The second reason is our high uh, degree completion rate. Although we can only select a small number of a very large pool of aspirant doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, dietitians, occupational therapists, and speech, language, and hearing therapists who seek entry to our institution every year. Those who obtain admission to our institution have a very high likelihood of success. More than 90% of our students admitted to the various programs eventually qualify as health professionals. Which brings me to the, last, the third and last point and this is perhaps the thing I am most proud of at our faculty. We go beyond simply providing theoretical knowledge and technical know-how. One of our specific goals is to inspire all our students to be their best selves. So if you choose to join our faculty, you can expect to be constantly challenged to reflect on who you are and also on what you can become.
You will be invited to think about ways in which you can become a more responsible citizen and how you can make a meaningful uh, difference in the lives of people and communities. Our faculty values, as you may have seen, are inclusivity, compassion, accountability, respect, excellence, and equality. We encourage all our students and staff to embrace these values because these values will not only make you a better health professional, but also a better human being. So we look forward to welcoming you to the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. I know in my heart it is a place where you will feel welcome, valued, and above all, inspired to be a better person. I wish you all the best for the successful completion of your matric year. Work hard, stay safe, and may all your dreams come true. Medicine. Sure, that's, that's a biggie. Where do you start with that one? Well, I think the best place to start is at the base and with the basics. In year one and two, we spend a lot of time on the theoretical underpinnings of medicine, physiology, bio biology, um, and, and what it is to be a healthcare practitioner. There's some um, basic clinical training um, in the first two years, but in your third year, you'll have your first clinical rotation. Um, through a clinical environment. That's relatively early, um, but you know, that's obviously what you're, what you're here for. Um, from there on out, uh, clinical exposure just increases. Here and there we'll have some rural exposures as well, very relevant for the South African context. Um, and the option in sixth year, your final year, to go to the rural clinical school, uh, which we are very proud of. Um, and it's an initiative to give you a year-long exposure to, to primary health care in a, a, a rural setting, very relevant um, and valuable for in the South African context. Even before the COVID years uh, or the COVID challenge, um, we've been grappling with the use of technology in our teaching and learning, uh, trying to think um, creatively around how we can, can use it more optimally. Um, following our, our experiences this year, I'm very confident that, that we'll really be able to harness technology in our offering, um, increasing both the depth and the richness um, of, of our teaching and learning experience for the students. Some of the, the best scientists, researchers and clinicians uh, that we have in the country will be your lecturers. Um, I mean, some of the textbooks that you'll use, the people who wrote the textbook will be, will be your lecturer. Uh, so, so it's an amazing environment uh, to be in um, and um, uh, to, to meet those, those people. So medicine is, is a long haul. It's six years. Um, it's, it's tough. Um, and it requires uh, determination, commitment, a lot of hard work, a lot of grit um, to, to, to get to the end. But we are confident that our graduates are, are very well prepared for the internship um, and that you know, at the end of your degree, you'll be equipped um, and you'll be ready to make a difference in your community and to make a difference in South Africa. I've managed to catch up with some um, of our MBCHB 1 um, first years who are currently in the residence. Uh, we're visiting them in their pod um, and I thought it would be cool to hear some of their thoughts about their experience of, of medicine. So, so guys, maybe you can introduce yourselves and tell us a bit more. My name is Oazin Jobo and I am from Durban. Uh, my name is Matipa Ledava and I'm from Boxburg in Gauteng. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so um, I arrived here late. I remember like a week was in the last week of January and like I was kind of busy solving my funding and stuff. So I got here late, uh, everyone was just like in their little groups and yeah, just, yeah, things were just not okay at first. But yeah, and then I met Gwazi and then yeah, she was like a great fan and everything. Um, so then 
for instance, it's nice. You could get to enjoy that if you come here. But we're gonna talk about like the first day of lectures. So got there late, because he left me. <laughs> <laughs> It's already late and like I opened the door, it's like a double door. So I open the first door, it's like dark, and I'm like pushing through the second door and I go in, it's all light, and like I'm seeing a bunch of like a lot of students. Like I didn't expect that. So I thought like me and the CHP would be like 30 students, 40 or 100, not like a lot, a lot. So yeah, I got there, sat on the last bench and made like made friends and yeah, it was great. Um it was a great experience. So yeah, okay. And one of the advantages or like one of my highlights of um, first semester was that, was that we got to work with all of the other students, the dietetic students, the nursing students, the physiotherapy students, and obviously the medical students. Yeah. And But now in se second semester, my favorite part of it is that we actually get into medicine, like the real part of medicine. <laughs> and it sort of makes it real in your mind that you're going to be a doctor. And yeah, that's what I'm worried about second semester. Cool. Thanks. And sorry, guys, we don't have much of experience because of COVID. But yeah, trust my opinion. Because as a opinion, if you can't, you'll definitely enjoy yourselves. Fan washing is the best. So coming from Gauteng, I thought I would struggle um, because I was leaving everyone behind and I had to start from scratch. Um, but I mean, it, I couldn't have been more wrong. Um, I'm not the kind of person who is solely focused on academics and only studies the whole time and doesn't make time for anything else. It doesn't have fun, but I couldn't have been more wrong. But what I love about Tigerberg is that they want you to be the best doctor you can be. And from your first year, they want you to practice your clinical skills, which is how to examine people and how to work with patients and care for each other. And it starts because it starts at home. And by home, I mean on campus where we celebrate each other for our differences and not for our academic prowess. It's we love the people who play music, who play sport, who say poetry um, and the people who want to try those things because we know that a good doctor isn't someone who did well in med school, but it's someone who knows how to work with people and who knows more about the world than just medicine. Um, I mean, how boring is it if you could go into a conversation and you can't talk about anything other than penicillin? I would just like to chat to you about a few very exciting things that you will experience as a first year should you choose the Stellenbosch MBCHB family to be your own. Our academic program is unique as you get a hands-on experience from the very start. To give you a taste of it, you will get to do anatomy practicals on cadavers to boost your theoretical knowledge. A project named Amazing Race, during which you will have an opportunity to visit a peripheral hospital or a clinic and assess all of its inner workings. The program also offers Afrikaans and Isin Klosa to ensure language proficiency, and you'll get to practice with native speakers acting as patients during your assessments. My absolute part, favorite part of the year was Introduction to Clinical Medicine. This, during this module, you will be taught proper etiquette and basic clinical skills to ensure that you can do physical examinations on patients in preparation for clinical rotations during your small senior years. And yes, you will get to use a stethoscope. Stellenbosch University has a fantastic academic support program that is student-driven to ensure that your transition from high school to university is a smooth one. To name a few examples, you'll be assigned a main type and subject specific tutors who are senior students that excel in their academics and will be helping you throughout your academic experience through using the things that they've learned during the years. You will also be assigned a student mentor by your residence or your PSO who don't only look after your academic wellness, but your wellness overall. Last but not least, you will have the House Committee members that will guide you through this brand new environment throughout the whole year. Good day, prospective physiotherapy students of 2021. On behalf of the Physiotherapy Division, we are pleased to learn that you have chosen Stellenbosch University as an institution to further your tertiary education. 
As you may know, the physiotherapy field is quite diverse, but at the end of the day, we are all striving to improve the health and well-being of individuals and populations at large. Here at Stellenbosch University, we endeavor to deliver graduates who are capable of functioning in a variety of settings, such as hospitals, community-based settings, sporting teams, and schools, and so much more. We have an experienced team who are continuously striving to improve our academic offering and student experience. We here at the Physiotherapy Division look forward to formally meet you in March next year, and I'm certain that you will develop professionally, personally, and socially at Stellenbosch University. I hope the next part of the video presented by students and the Physiotherapy Society will inspire you to become a Marty. Stellenbosch Physiotherapy Society is here to be a voice for you, linking you with your fellow colleagues, giving you the opportunity to learn by working at the Argus and lighting up the passion within you. We can't wait to be part of your adventure. Hello, prospective students of 2021. My name is Kasishe Bulela Hulana, and I'm currently doing my first year in physiotherapy. For me, the experience has been daunting yet exciting at the same time with the whole idea of being in a new environment and meeting people from across the country. For me, finding a routine that is most suited for yourself when it comes to maintaining your physical and mental health is definitely a classic bonus. Also, engaging with other people as much as needed and wherever necessary is definitely something that helps in terms of the workload it does get intense guys but it is definitely something anyone is capable of achieving and also there is always help available apart from anything else guys if you enjoy your degree you will definitely have a good time and i trust and hope that you guys will have a great year for 2021 hello my name is Frandine and i'm a fourth year physiotherapy student we just came back from a day at clinical where we helped a lady stand by herself for the first time if you have a passion for people, then this course is for you. Stanbosch University has helped us to achieve our goals of becoming holistic human beings and physiotherapists. The four years are jam-packed with good memories, loads of inspiring stories, and a lot of hard work. Ooh. I am now ready to embark on my journey as a professional physiotherapist, and I can't wait to meet you on the clinical platform when you are practicing as well. Let us get you started on your journey into this amazing profession. Hi, I'm Faisa Bardin, the Undergraduate Program Coordinator in the Division of Speech, Language and Hearing Therapy. We have a motivated and dynamic team of lecturers and clinical educators to help you navigate the academic and clinical demands of our program. Choose Stellenbosch. To prospective students, choose Stellenbosch Speech, Language and Hearing Therapy as your course. I'm Carla Bauer, a first year speech therapy student and I would like to tell you about my experience and why you should choose Stellenbosch. The lecturers and staff are extremely welcoming and kind. One of your main concerns are most likely the workload shift from high school to university. However, they make the transition so easy. At Stellenbosch Speech Therapy, we have class guardians, class mentors, and tutors assigned to us who assist us in making us understand the work to the best of our ability. Our subjects at Stellenbosch Speech Therapy covers a wide array of subjects which enhance your future work skills. The lecturers are very passionate and make the content so enjoyable. At Stellenbosch, we are fortunate enough to visit the Tigerberg Medical Campus where we have our anatomy and practical lessons which are helpful in understanding the speech and language content even better. We have small classes but that only makes us more of a tight-knit group. You really meet your family here and the support structures are never-ending. Choose Stellenbosch. Hello, prospective first year students. My name is Gerd and I'm a second year speech, language and hearing therapy student here at the University of Stellenbosch. At Stellenbosch University, we take speech therapy very seriously. 
but we also have a lot of fun. If you're interested in communication, medicine and health sciences, psychology, and linguistics and language, absolutely consider that speech therapy could be the degree for you. At the university, the lecturers not only care about your academic performance, but also about your mental health and your emotional well-being. For my studies, I had to move all the way from Pretoria to the Western Cape, and this was a really big step, and it was really daunting. But thanks to the lecturers in the department, an amazing student life, and a degree that is tailor-made for you, why not choose speech therapy? Why not choose Stellenbosch? It literally ticks all the boxes. So, what are you waiting for? Hello, prospective students. We are final years in our final block and welcome to Uppington. And we are the class of COVID-19. In this degree, you can expect hard work, long hours, but a very fulfilling, unique and inspiring experience. Classes are small and you'll start to feel like one big happy family that goes on road trips together from time to time. In our case, 790 kilometers far. Um, looking back on our experiences, the highlights for us were getting exposure to different clinical platforms from different speech therapists as mentors to develop our clinical reasoning and as well as interactions with different people from different backgrounds. And also making friends that will last you a lifetime and making memories that you'll never forget. So come along with us to break. So you want to be a nurse? Fantastic. I look so forward to welcoming, welcoming you to Stellenbosch University's Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences campus next year in March. I am Janet Bell and I am a senior lecturer in the Department of Nursing and Midwifery at Stellenbosch University and my main role in that position is as program coordinator for the Bachelor of Nursing and Midwifery. So I want to congratulate you on your selection into the program. You are one of only 50 students that we accept into the program so you are part of a um, small uh, but no doubt unique and dynamic group of individuals. Um, when you join us in March next year, you'll be joining another 97 odd students in their second and third year. And I can say without any doubt that they have to be some of the most dynamic and passionate um, and amazing individuals that I've had the privilege of working with as um, a lecturer in, in nursing. So next year, when you uh, become part of our program, part of our, our student group, you'll be joining a very dynamic and lively um, campus. The students on the, the Tigerberg campus take their studies very seriously, but they also take the business of being a student very seriously. So you have a lot to look forward to in terms of your academic life. You have some amazing resources that you will have access to. You will have access to some really sound um, and stable support services. And you're going to join, as I say, a very vibrant student life. So you will hear some of the voices of our second year group who've, who've added to this particular video. But I want to say that I really do look forward to being part of your life for the next four years as you become a nurse and midwife. Um, our intention in the program is to, to guide you and facilitate your learning so that you can become a nurse who is highly competent, creative, innovative and deeply ethical. And we use a number of different teaching strategies. You'll be exposed to many different people, many different environments as you move through these four years. Um, but probably the, the key element is that we, we want to unlock your potential, your talent and your uniqueness as an individual so that you can then celebrate and hold at the core of your caring practice the uniqueness and wonder of each human being that you are going to care for and care with. So I look really forward to being part of your life for these four years that will start next year um, and I'll see you in March. Take care, lots of luck for the exams, um, and have a good rest. We'll see you next year. Bye-bye. Hello, first years. My name is Lou May, and I'm currently a second year nursing student. But in 2021, I will be a third year. I want to welcome you all 
to this amazing degree at, an, at a spectacular university. You have all chosen a great career to pursue. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the most rewarding careers and also more, more a calling than it is a career. Um, I want to welcome you to the Stellenbosch University nursing family and I hope you really feel that we are a family and that you can be at home here. Um, I can't wait to mentor some of you through the process of becoming a nurse and I can't wait to meet you all. I'm so excited. I will see you in 2021. Hi guys, my name is Shanae. Um, I'm a second year nursing student at Stellenbosch University. And I wanted to say welcome to our program. You have made the best decision you could possibly make. Um, I think you're heading into an occupation um, which is full of compassion and person-centeredness and each aspect of this course and of this world you're stepping into um, is going to be so special and so valuable to your life. So we are so excited to meet you. Um, and yeah, I just hope you have a great journey. Um, and enjoy all the years of studying. My name is Jess. I am a second year nursing student and I usually live in Hippocrates residence. This course is amazing. It's a new course, um, which means that we were the guinea pigs in our first year. So our first year was kind of a unique first year in that we paved the way and every corner was an unexpected change. And we kind of whacked through a lot of bushes to make it a lot easier for you guys. Unfortunately, this year's first years didn't get as much of an amazing first year experience as we had. But I think hopefully you guys will have the best so far. So we are a new course both in Stellenbosch University and in South African nursing history. We can promise you kind, caring, intelligent classmates who will soon become your best friends, who will have your back no matter what. We can promise you lecturers who will know you by name or try their very best to, and who will do everything in their power to support your learning journey because they actually care about you. We can promise a unique campus full of dedicated students who are as passionate and excited about healthcare as you are. We can promise tons of laughs and good times. We promise a really cool nursing uniform that we are excited to start wearing next year. It's been a long time in the making and we can finally wear it next year and be super proud of it. You will become skilled at adapting to the unexpected and you will manage to thrive no matter what is thrown at you next year because it will be a roller coaster, but we like roller coasters because they're fun. This course will open your mind, your heart, and your eyes in ways you never could have imagined. We are so excited to meet all of you, and we are really, really excited to build our strong community of nursing on this campus. See you soon. Hi there. My name is Nabila Saleh, and I am a second year nursing student at Stellenbosch University. I'm originally from Tanzania. I'm an international student. And I could tell you that I don't regret my decision of coming to South Africa to pursue this amazing and rewarding degree. Your lecturers, the department, the university itself helps you to strive together to become a very competitive nurse in the future. Whether you're dropped in any unit, whether it's, let's say, um, ICU or surgical or medical, you exactly know what to do because you have all the strings that you've pulled at university to be able to conquer those floors. Um, please don't hesitate to ask us questions. We're all a team. We're all here for you, so you're never alone. And please be ready to hear the word critical thinking almost every day at university when you begin your career. Can't wait to see you all soon. Bye, take care for now. See you next year. Hi everyone, my name is Sianna Sitole, currently second year nursing and midwifery sciences student. I'm originally from a small town in Kizilin called Stega. I hope you guys are ready for the journey. I hope you guys are going to enjoy your stay and I hope you guys are ready for every single step of the way to becoming a great nurse. Hello, my name is Jenny Marie Mehan. I'm a second year nursing and midwifery student at Stellenbosch University. And I realize that nursing is so much more than it is painted out to be on movies and TV shows and that it is a lot of hard work, but even more rewarding. And that we have this 
great responsibility and privilege to be caring for someone. Hi everyone, I'm Arjuna Dampis, a second year nursing student. I'm from Paul, but I currently stay in the Bucaratis residence. A piece of advice I would like to see with you guys for next year is to work hard, study hard, but also to relax, laugh and enjoy life as a nursing student. Hi everyone, my name is Christelle Liu. I'm a second year nursing student at Salamash University and I'm from Cape Town, from Basel. Um, to all the aspiring nursing students of 2021, welcome to the family. I hope you enjoyed and you fall in love with this course as much as I did. Hello, I'm Nicola Plasto, the Head of Occupational Therapy at Stellenbosch University. I'm one of 11 lecturers who will be teaching you next year when you start on um, your journey in occupational therapy um, at Stellenbosch. This is a phenomenal achievement, so congratulations on being selected as one of the 50 students who will be joining us in 2021. We really look forward to meeting you. Along with your occupational therapy coursework, you'll also be doing a number of other subjects, including psychology, special physics, industrial psychology, industrial psychology for occupational therapy, and of course, physiology. In second year, you'll be moving to the Tigerberg campus, which is based in Belleville in Cape Town. This is when the real work starts. Second year is jam-packed full of um, exciting opportunities for learning about um, how we assess people within occupational therapy and also starting to learn about what we do for treatment. In third year, you will be moving into um, starting your clinical work. We have three different clinical blocks in third year where you will be working with real patients and people who have been affected by illness, injury or disability. You don't need to hear from me though about why you should come and study at Salambas University. Rather, I'd like you to hear the videos um, that some of our students have prepared to help to inspire you and to let you know that you will be very welcome when you come to join us. Hi there, my name is Mudakir Solomons. I'm studying occupational therapy and I'm currently in my second year of study at Southern Washington University. The reason I chose to study OT is because I've always had a passion for helping people and when I found out about occupational therapy and what occupational therapists do, I was just immediately drawn to it because the two just go hand in hand. And one of the things I love about studying OT at the studies is that the OT students as well as the lecturers that go above and beyond to make sure that you are comfortable, that you are coping, that everything is okay. And coming from someone who is one of the few males in the degree, I really, I love that. It's, it's cool. It's like a whole family. And the thing I love about OT as a profession is that um, you get to enhance people's well-being in ways that are meaningful to them. And through that, you're exercising your creativity and I just find that so cool and so amazing. Occupational therapy is a health profession that focuses primarily on the promotion of independence in all aspects of people's lives, helping them to live a life that is purposeful and meaningful. Occupational therapists' holistic approach puts the individual at the centre of the intervention, looking at what they need to do and what they want to do when faced with disability, illness, injury or challenging life events. Combining their anatomical knowledge, their understanding of the human psyche and human development with their understanding of illness and disability, occupational therapists are experts at assessing how different health conditions affect an individual's ability to do their everyday tasks. Occupational therapists use these everyday tasks of self-care, leisure, work and social interaction in therapy to enable the individual to reach their maximal level of independence and autonomy. Occupational therapists have a broad understanding of people throughout their lifespan and can therefore work in various different areas from working with infants and their mothers in a neonatal unit to helping a child integrate reflexes for development or assessing and bettering a work environment all the way to spending time with the elderly and helping them to do tasks that they find meaningful. Occupational therapy equips and enables individuals to find fulfillment and it provides a sense of hope where there once was none. Hi, my name is Nafia and I'm currently studying my fourth year of occupational therapy. 
Initially, I thought that OT was another form of physiotherapy or children's therapy, but now I realize that it is so much more than that. Occupational therapy really offers the opportunity to serve those who are deemed weak by society to help them find their meaning and value again. I love OT because it really looks at a person as a whole and not just as their diagnosis. It also offers the opportunity to look at the world with a new hope and offer help to those who feel they have lost everything. I really hope to use my qualification to empower communities and restore occupational justice. I would help, like to help people and reclaim, help them reclaim their power to take action and to find their potential. I decided to study dietetics because I was really passionate about working with lots of different people, adults and children, as well as working with health and well-being, and I really wanted to be able to do something that would have a social impact one day. And if you're passionate about any of these things, then I think that this is definitely the course for you. So why I enjoyed the course, I found there was just such diversity in what we were exposed to. I mean, one day we'd be learning about how to run a food service unit and how to manage people, and then the next day we were dealing with pediatrics and ger geriatrics in the hospital, um, or we would be in the community interacting. Um, this year we were very fortunate that we were able to um, do a lot of outreach, especially during COVID, and it's just our degree has so many, so much potential to do everything. Um, and anything basically, um, that it's just every day is a new day and every day you learn something new. So why I enjoyed the dietetics course, I really enjoyed every aspect of this course. I found everything that we learned very interesting from learning how to treat patients with different diseases with evidence-based knowledge to learning how to implement a community intervention and educating mothers about the importance of breastfeeding to learning how to start and manage your own business one day. And something that I also really liked and enjoyed about this course is how it enabled me to learn new skills and also how to improve on my current skills. Duration of the dietetics degree is a total of four years. Your first year, first semester is an in integration with the other allied health care um, degrees such as medicine and physio. And then in your second semester of first year, you split into your dietetics degree or other degrees. <laughs> And then your final year um, is an internship slash honours year where you work on the various clinical platforms. Hi, I'm Rita and Jasmine English, a final year dietetics student. And over the course of these four years, I've come to personally understand the importance of confidence. I think starting off as a first year, I was so afraid of what people would think of me, so afraid of whether or not I was competent in my knowledge and in my ability to help others. But over time, I realized that it really, truly is about understanding yourself, your strengths and your weaknesses and knowing that it doesn't matter how much you know, there's always room for improvement and there's always going to be something that you don't know. And that's the beauty of this degree and the beauty of this career path that I've chosen. And I'm excited to see how much more I get to learn. After my internship rotation, I managed to take time to reflect on my personal growth to see if I was the same person before and now. And I must say that I have still grown in my confidence mm -hmm. and in my interpersonal skills. Because with the exposure that we had, with working with different communities, with working with patients, with working with other doctors and nurses from the hospital and working with other people in the cancer suite, I managed to gather all that and build my confidence and my interpersonal skills. Good day, Mulwini, Goyadag, prospective students and parents. Welcome to the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences at Stellenbosch University. I'm Gerenice of Aflanke, the Manager of Student Affairs at the Tigerberg campus. Together with Azar Nadgar, one of our MBCHB students, we will offer you an overview of the support services offered within the faculty. The Division of Student Affairs is responsible for a variety of support and development functions. These include residence and community support functions, psychosocial support, and student leadership development functions. 
I manage the Student Affairs Office at the Tigerberg campus and my office is a central referral point for student inquiries. My office is also a safe space for students to raise their concerns when the nature of the incident is personally sensitive or they fear discrimination or harassment. The Division of Student Affairs comprises of three centres that offer student support. The Centre for Student Counselling and Development has several units that offer a variety of psychosocial support services free of charge. I will highlight two of these services. Firstly, the Unit for Psychotherapeutic Services and Support provides support for depression, anxiety, substance abuse, adjustment problems and trauma via individual therapy and group interventions. Social work services are also available on campus and an educational psychologist offers academic support. Secondly, the Equality Unit raises awareness around sexualities, gender, HIV AIDS and anti-discrimination. It is a one-stop service to manage complaints of unfair discrimination and various forms of harassment. The Centre for Students and Communities provides a holistic living and learning experience for students. Each house has a residence head who is responsible for leading the residence and supporting students at their home away from home. There are also several student leadership opportunities. Some examples include being involved in the house committees or as residence mentors to play a significant role in the integration and support of students throughout the year. Each house has critical engagement discussions focused on key social justice issues that offer well-rounded and meaningful experiences of life on campus. The Center for Student Leadership, Experiential Education and Citizenship provides comprehensive and coherent leadership experiences for its students. Experiential educational offerings are available in the form of online short courses and workshops to develop the leadership skills of our students. The Student Governance Office promotes ethical leadership principles by training and supporting student leaders. The Tigerberg Student Representative Council is the highest form of representation of student governance for the student body. The members of this team make it their mission to ensure the well-being of our students. A plethora of exciting societies are active on campus. Students are encouraged to join the societies in order to lead a balanced lifestyle whilst having fun and making new friends. Good day. My name is Azir Adam Natka and I'm a fifth year medical student in the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences at Stalemosh University. For as long as I can remember growing up, it has always been a dream of mine to become a medical doctor in South Africa. I've always reveled in the mystery of the human body and have wanted to experience the joy of helping someone through the downfall in its defenses. I was thrilled to be awarded a recruitment bursary to study medicine at Stalemosh University. There were various structures implemented to ensure that each student in the faculty receives an all-rounded opportunity to become the best possible version of themselves. Stellenbosch University's Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences has provided me a sanctuary whereby I may discover my academic potential and act upon it. The support that the university offers is exactly what I need to transform my dreams into reality. An important aspect of the support strategy offered to students is the Tutor Mentor Program. I have been honoured and privileged to serve as the Student Coordinator of the Tutor Mentor Program in 2019 and 2020. The Tutor Mentor Program is a student-driven peer academic support program offered for all undergraduate programs in the faculty. The program focuses on supporting first-year students during the academic transition from high school to university and second years in preparing for the increased workload and exposure to the clinical environment. I would like to address three frequently asked questions that I believe will help you in making your decision to study at our faculty. Number one. In terms of the location, don't be confused. The Tigerberg campus is situated 31 kilometers away from the Stellenbosch campus in Stellenbosch. Number two, there is food available on campus and also via a shuttle service that takes you to malls nearby. Number three, English is the primary medium of instruction. However, Afrikaans is offered as an alternative in all assessment opportunities. Student support opportunities are marketed via our official communication channels. Kindly consult the faculty webpage. Click on Students and then click on the Student Support Services tab. Here you will find important contact information about student support, including the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences Student Support Booklet. For more information regarding our offerings, check out our Tiger Marty Student Support Facebook page. I look forward to welcoming you to the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences in 2021. All the best for your exams. It is such an honor to be able to address you, the prospective Tiger Marty, for 2021. 
My name is Kristen Ahrens. I'm a fourth year medical student from East London in the Eastern Cape, and I'm serving as a Tigerberg Student Representative Council Chairperson for the term 2021. The Tigerberg Student Representative Council, known as the TSR, is a structure that represents your needs and interests at various levels of institutional management at the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences and at Stellenbosch University at large. I'm sure your school has had a form of a learner representative structure to advocate for your needs as learners, and that is what we do as a TSR for the students of our Tigerberg campus. Our campus is unique in that it is, situ it is situated in Cape Town next to the Tigerberg Hospital in order for us to be able to do our training as health sciences students. We're a tight-knit community on our campus and we have a common understanding of the triumphs and struggles that we face as health sciences students. The TSR is made up of nine elected members and four ex-officio members. The four ex-officio members are students who are a chairperson of a specific structure and represent the needs of that structure on the TSR. Our ex-officio portfolios are the Tigerberg Prim Committee, representing our residences, the Tigerberg Postgraduate Student Council, representing our postgraduate students, the Tigerberg Academic Affairs Council, representing the academic faction of all our undergrad programs, and the Tigerberg Societies Council, representing the interests of our societies. At Tigerberg, we have 28 societies that caters for various other interests that our students have, such as the Surgical Society, the Anatomy Society, the Spectrum Society, representing the needs of the LGBTQIA plus community, the Dance Society, the Medical Orchestra Society, and many more. So for more information on that, please check out the Tigerberg Societies Council page on Instagram. The other portfolios that we have on the TSR are sports portfolio, a green and sustainability portfolio, student wellness, culture, social justice. And we also have a portfolio specifically to cater for the needs of our facilities if you have any complaints about that. So the TSR, in collaboration with residence structures, really like to create opportunities for you to thrive and develop holistically outside of your curriculum through various projects of our portfolios. There is so much to get involved in on our campus, be it in a leadership, cultural, sport or academic sphere. There is a space for everyone on our Tigerberg campus. Lastly, I can't promise that your journey as a health sciences student will be or will always be smooth, but I can promise that you will always have someone to turn to to speak up for you when you can't speak up for yourself. And that is why the TSR exists as the highest form of student governance at the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. So please go ahead and follow us on our Instagram page, martys underscore TSR, for more campus updates and to cyberstalk your TSR for 2020-2021. Tiger Martys of 2021, we really look forward to meeting you and welcoming you to our campus and all the best for your final exams.